Be honest, is it meme or meme? -y? Huge thanks to Audible for sponsoring this video. Be whoop. If a UTI was an outfit, <laughs> I would say that's more like heartburn, but it could be a UTI because it burns when you pee. Dysuria, one of the common symptoms of UTI. The bad news is the operation was unsuccessful. The good news is I'm working on not defining myself by my failure. Well, at least your doctor left room for growth. Where does almond milk come from? Nobody, my brain. Honestly, I don't really know where almond milk, I guess you could squeeze the shit out of the nut. <laughs> puns about the body are generally corny, but puns about the eyes are even cornier. <laughs> yeah. My dad barometer joke is a spinach. Someone, cats heal people. 30 year old me, got a cat. Cat, no way, brothers. <laughs> is that a toothpick? It's a cigarette. Oh, such a good image. I'm worthless. Actually, he's like, I can sell some stuff. One of the cool things they don't tell you about your 30s is you can hurt your neck by turning to look at something, which is wild because that is the next main job. <laughs> so true. And then I decided as a genius doctor to say, well, how about I let people hit me rotating my neck abruptly and that's somehow gonna help. The idea of hurting your neck while turning it is because we're not moving enough. We need to stay mobile. We need to increase our range of motion. When you do that, you actually get more circulation, more healing, more range of motion, less injury. A couple who tried to conceive for 17 years welcome sex tuplets. When you hit print hella times and all the copies come out at once. Facts. My suspicion, being that I'm in medicine, is that they probably had IVF. And when you have IVF, you have higher rates of twins, triplets, and I'm assuming sex tuplets as well. Are you a myelin sheath because you're getting on my nerves? No, because if you were a myelin sheath, you'd love to cuddle. Myelin sheaths literally cuddle your nerves and they speed it up. Honestly, I think if I was a part of the body, I'd be a myelin sheath because I feel like I'm very fast and I also like to cuddle. Ask Bear. How to burn thousands of calories in just a few minutes. <laughs> You literally burned it. Burned a lot of calories recently. Yeah, boxing today, I think I burned 1,400. Yeah! And who texted you this? <laughs> Should be who Snapchatted you this. Me, extremely burnt out. I need to take the day off to relax. Also me, I wonder if there is a way that I could relax that would be more productive. We have split into two extremes of hyper-productive individuals and those who are cool to just to sit and melt into their chairs. And I wish we can somehow come more towards the middle. I can't find any reason for your discomfort. It must be the alcohol. Then I'll come back when you're so <laughs> I will say doctors do tend to do that. Like if they can't find something wrong, they just like pick a random thing to blame it on. I prefer being honest and being like, no idea. We'll keep looking or we can try certain things, eliminate certain things, but also you shouldn't be drunk as a doctor. Me, when I break my leg, I know where this is from. Inglorious Bastards, such a good movie. Dominic De Coco. Bravo. Bravo. Uh, that's not recommended <laughs> because when you break a bone, you want to avoid putting excess pressure on that bone. So I don't know what could be broken here that they would do it in the shape of a heel. Not a good idea. Pregnant, not pregnant, positive. Damn, hope you feel better. Quarantine. Are you stupid? Oh, I guess they misread the test there. And by the way, for those who don't know, these quick acting tests, whether it's for COVID or pregnancy, if there's even a faint line for the positive, that's a positive test. So if anything pops up, it's positive. To avoid straining your eyes when you're continuously working, follow the 20-20-20 rule. I say that all the time. After 20 minutes of work, look at something 20 feet away, then spend 20 years in the forest. You might think this is a joke, but the 20-20-20 rule is actually every 20 minutes, look at a point 20 feet away for 20 seconds. That will help your eyes relax. But this is not wrong. Spending time in the forest with objects that are far away from you helps your pupil relax and your eyes relax. So looking at things in the distance for 20 years in the forest, is healthy for your eyes. Back to the memes in just a second, but first, I wanna thank Audible for sponsoring this video. Last week, I interviewed Dr. Paul Offit about his book, Overkill, When Modern Medicine Goes Too Far. I found this book on Audible and thought it was so interesting that I actually begged Dr. Offit to come on the channel to discuss it some more. In particular, we talked about the myths of biohacking and Silicon Valley medicine and how certain modern medicine treatments make absolutely no sense. Make sure to go watch that interview after this video and sign up for Audible today by going to audible.com slash Dr. Mike or text Dr. Mike to the number 500-500. Remember though, Dr. Mike is spelled out and begin your free 30-day trial. With that, you'll have access to Audible's premium selection and Audible Plus catalog, giving you access to the latest bestsellers, guided meditations, podcasts, and so much more. The link to sign up is down below and the end card after this video will take you straight to my interview with Dr. Offit. All right, let's get back to some memes. Why are you showing me? I was with you yesterday and I had a vasectomy <laughs> 
Just your name. Why can't people figure it out? Aren't you curious what it is? And how do you even know that's positive? Unless they scan the QR code. Chakras. Uh, we need Shaq to come back and coach the Lakers. Let me know if you agree. New doctor. So tell me a little bit about what's going on. Me. Massive engine failure. You know, someone wise once told me that a doctor should always look under the hood, but not go over your head. But in reality, a lot of things go wrong with the human body. We don't have electrical systems that can be plugged into a device that's to tell us what the errors are. But I guess you could make a, a claim that a, an EKG is sort of like that. We stick on little leads and then all of a sudden we know kind of what's going on with your heart. Me, I have a headache, WebMD, and it'll be your last. Everything WebMD will be your last. I'm surprised they even allow advertisers to advertise on it because it feels like all of their users are about to die. How is that a profitable business model? Do they go to advertisers and say, hey, people come to our website and we tell them all they're gonna die. Might not, but they probably will. So don't you wanna to advertise to them? Facial reconstructive surgery. You mean boxing? This could have been iDubs circa 100 years ago. It means a few more tattoos, but yeah. True. X. Or size? Extra fries? There's something about a fry that is boring to me. It's almost like salty bread. Do you eat salty bread? Why would you eat a salty potato? Cheesy fries? I get it. I get the cheesy fry. But just a potato? Stick. The downvotes on this video are palpable. Sound off in the comments, folks. Hey, I just met you, and this is rabies, but here's my lumbar. Tipped in gravy. Why would you show someone? I guess you could show them your lumbar if you're trying to like show the booty a little bit. Hey, Bear, you got rabies? Brought us some rabies? Can I get a kiss? Thank you. You have rabies? Oh my God, do not fall for this BS. Someone has been using my image and trying to get people to believe that there's a magical pill for diabetes. And I've reported them, we've gotten them taken down. They keep changing their name, changing the website. Please do not fall for this. It is full on scam, spam. In fact, if you see it, report it, call the FBI. Maybe don't call the FBI. I don't think this is an FBI issue. When you're about to die, but Batman got your back. <laughs> that's, not, uh, that's not Batman. That's the Death Reaper coming for your cardiac my emotional support dog after one day with <laughs> The dog needs emotional support. That's how Bear feels over there. But this is also sending the wrong message, folks. Do not cope with your stresses by doing what this dog is doing. Me, carbs. Is this Kim and Pete? This looks like a Staten Island restaurant based on the Italian food, the Diet Cokes, the straws, the sauna-like background. No tendons, just tendies. <laughs> Well, there's also, if we're being accurate here, no muscles, ligaments, connective tissue, fascia, organs, nerves, blood vessels, lymph nodes, skin, fingernails, hair. Okay, I'll stop. Doctor, our x-rays showed you swallowed a light bulb. Me, I guess you could say I'm, doctor, don't do this. Me, lit AF. Doctor, <laughs> get I hope the doctor really didn't say get out. It's a really big problem. Light bulb's gonna break, it's gonna fracture, it's gonna shatter, it's gonna cut things, person's gonna bleed internally, gastric juices are gonna spill, irritation will happen, an SBO will occur. SBP is what I really meant to say. Spontaneous bacterial peritonitis, that's what it was. I didn't even have to look it up. My brain just worked. Meme review, Dr. Mike, asking questions, playing games. I don't get it. I think that's a reference to responding to comments videos? You're giving all your attention to meme review videos? Oh, uh, videos yeah. We haven't played games. What game should we play? Let us know. I would play another Apex game. We want to play a game. I want to play Apex. To play. I've been like sharpening up my skills a little bit. I've been playing with Bloodhound. This is one shame to the medical profession. Such unprofessional handwriting. Unprofessional? That's fire. Are you kidding me? That's why it's unprofessional. Oh, true. <laughs> You get it, and you're disappointed. I get it. And also they're putting two prescriptions on the one pad. I'm not a huge fan of that. Take one with food every four hours as needed. They're treating fever very aggressively. Maybe you don't need to treat fever aggressively. I think we talked about that on my interview with Dr. Offit. Last week at the drugstore, someone threw a bottle of fish oil supplements at me. Luckily, my injuries were only super fish oil. Superficial. There you go. My husband just swallowed a paracetamol. What shall I do? Well, that's just Tylenol in Europe. Give him a headache now. Why waste the meds? Yeah, if it was just one and he doesn't have like an allergy, I don't know what the issue here is. Acetaminophen and paracetamol can cause problems with your liver if you ingest too much. It's one of the most common causes of liver inflammation, people overusing those. My therapist says I have cognitive distortions brought on by extreme anxiety, but the way he said it makes me feel like he's mad at me. Well, that's exactly what a cognitive distortion is. When you do not give charitable thinking, you make assumptions and you mind read, those are two proper examples of cognitive distortions. I believe this chicken stuffer is made by pampered 
Bird Chef because it's really durable and seems to be high quality. My mom always used it to hold the chicken open while she put the stuffing in. It works really good, but I'm not much of a cook. That is what we use to perform vaginal exams, pap smears. My younger residents struggle with pap smears and using the speculum. Like oftentimes I have to make some adjustments. Like when they put the speculum in, they open it. So you get a good field of view, which is important. And then in taking it out, they do the rational thing, is the common sense thing. They say, close it before taking it out so you don't take out an open speculum. But also when you do this, you can sh slam pinch. some of the, and pinch some of the Ooh. tissue. So you gotta close it a little bit, but gently take it out. Can you imagine how much that hurts? God bless you ladies. Again, check out my interview with Dr. Paul Offit. Such a good conversation. He makes it so easy to understand and him and I align on a lot of points. Check it out. You're definitely gonna enjoy it as always. Stay happy and healthy.